You're not even looking at me. Look, look at this. It's not appropriate for video. This is Jake Rowell from CrossFit RVA here with Matt Gonzalez. We're on episode 15 of Movement RVA. We're going to be going over overhead complexes and how they can help speed and coordination for your jerks. When you're programming in complexes, it's really important to think about how you're structuring them and how they're helping you to achieve a specific goal. Plenty of times we see people use complexes, it might be very difficult, but might not actually be helping you get where you want to be. It's also important to note that a lot of these complexes aren't going to be appropriate for beginners who haven't had enough time with the individual components of the complex yet. Today we're going to be going over two separate complexes with very distinct aims and methods. The first complex we're going to be doing what I call the terrible triple. This one's borrowed from our friends here at the weight room in Richmond, Virginia. And it's a great one to help you clean up your jerk foot positions. So the first thing Matt's going to do is just a push jerk. This will be helping establish our basic jerk movements here, the dip drive and drop back under the bar. After that, we're going to do a split jerk, but he's going to do it with the opposite leg positions he usually does. You really have to focus on where you're putting feet, your feet in this one because it's not something you're usually doing. And finally, we're just going to do a normal split jerk with normal foot positions. At this point, he's probably pretty tired, so he's really got to focus again on his foot positions and being very efficient in that final split jerk. For our next complex, we're going to be doing a push press followed by a push jerk and finally a split jerk. For these, each movement serves as a building block onto the next one with aspects of the movement carrying on to the next part of the movement. So first up, we're setting up his push press. You really have to focus on finishing off your dip drive in your push press, which will carry on to the next movement, which is a push jerk. For this one, we just add the drop back under to do a full push jerk. And finally, we're doing a split jerk, adding one more component, which is just a split. After programming for weightlifters for many years, we found that these particular complexes are best done around 70% of your max split jerk. We think that these can be done either before your heavier overhead work as sort of prep for that movement, or even afterwards as assistance work. Again, that was episode 15 of Movement RVA, covering overhead complexes and how they can help your speed and efficiency in the jerk. Make sure you stay tuned for next week where we're going over hand position and the double unders and how that can help your efficiency. Finally, make sure to subscribe to us up at the Cityscape up top, and we'll see you next week.